to teach your dog how to bow, um, what you'll need is a clicker, ideally. Otherwise, you can use a marker word. You need some treats and your dog. Come here, Nelly. Thank you, good girl. So with your dog standing, you are gonna bring a treat lure down and just slightly towards your dog until they start to bend their elbows. When they bend their elbows, you will click and treat. So down, slightly towards her, click and treat, break. I like to add in a release cue for my dog that lets them know they are done bowing so that they can hold the position a little bit longer and not choose to get up on their own. Good, break. So again, down slightly towards her. Good, break. Good, break. Good. When I've done that a few times, oh, excuse you, but I didn't say break, so I guess you're all right. When I've done that a few times, I will then get rid of the treat in my hand and it will instead come from my pocket. So very quickly, we wanna get rid of our treat lure. So hand comes down, good. Click, reward, break. Nice. Hand comes down, click, reward, break. Thank you. Hand comes down, good. Click, reward. What I want to start doing is shaking my hand signal. So for me, it is this, break. Thank you, Google, sit. Good. For me, it is this. So I start by using my treat lure, it goes down slightly in, then I get rid of that treat and I start shaping this signal and I get it smaller and smaller and higher and higher. So what I mean by that is a few times I will do it pretty low to the ground, not so much motion, but fairly quickly I'm gonna bring that up a little higher and higher until I can do it from here. Stand. So then I will start doing this, go ahead and click, reward, stand. This, click, reward, good girl, eight, break, thank you. Click, reward, until I can stand all the way up. Oh, I said, I know, I'm being bad about my release cues. You should be better about your release cues than I am right now. So when I'm standing, I can go like this. Oh, try again. There you go. Break, good girl. Good. Then what I'm gonna do is add in my verbal cue. Break. Uh, I told you to go break, thank you. Then I'm gonna add in my verbal cue. So I will say her cue and hers is just bow. Then I'll give my hand signal. Bow. Good, click and reward. Now for her, she's probably getting a little tired because she's kind of an old lady now. So if she lays down, I'm not too worried about it. With a younger dog, they will hold it a little better. Stand, thank you. Bow. Nice. My goal is to get this on a verbal only. Break. Oh, you hear that people outside? Good girl. So what I'm gonna start doing is saying my verbal cue, now that my dog knows it, and waiting a moment before I give a hand signal. Bow. And if they do it, you click and reward. Good girl. So stand. Come on. Thank you. Bow. Nice. <gasps> cheater, cheater. So, you'll notice with her, she's probably getting a little tired, but I would like her to hold her bow a little bit more and not go into that down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help her a little bit. Stand, bow, try again, bow. There you go, uh, good girl. And feet are in position, good. Stand, thank you, bow. So if she does that, I'm gonna just lift her booty up and feed her in position here, just real lightly. I'm not, I'm just kind of touching underneath her stomach. Um, I just want her to be in position a little bit more, but I can tell she's getting a little tired. Bow. Try again, stand. Bow. Bow. Try again. Ready? So if she does that a couple times, what I'm gonna do is just help her by touching her here. Bow. Good, click, and reward. Good girly. So she's getting tired, but your basic mechanics are going to be starting with the treat lure, down slightly in, click and reward for the elbow bend. Then it's gonna be no treat lure, starting to shape your hand signal. Then it is your verbal signal, bow, with your hand signal, and then it's just your verbal. One thing I failed to do as well as I would have liked was giving her a consistent release cue. Sometimes I say break, Sometimes I said stand, sometimes I didn't say anything. That is a habit I'm trying to get into. 
I want my dogs to hold a position until I give them a release cue. So I would add that in um, as a suggestion for you as well. So your dog holds the position until you've released them out of it. Any questions? Let me know.